The success of the reopening of campuses and in-classroom lectures in two weeks' time hinges largely on healthy kids making it to school and keeping healthy over the long haul. Hence, a House bill seeking to up the odds of such success by keeping kids at home by early evening or late afternoon and ready for school the next day, as summed up by our Mark Fatalco in this report. Lorley couldn't help but worry about the safety of her son, who will be attending in-person classes this coming school year. Diba, merong time para sa labas na yung mga bata yung ilagad, naglalagalag. Kasi karamihan ngayon, may mga batang gumagawa ng mga kaguluhan na hindi na, na alam ng parents. So mas mabuti, at that time, nandun na sila sa bahay para safe. A measure imposing nationwide curfew on minors has been filed at the House of Representatives. Under House Bill 1016 or the Nationwide Curfew Act, filed by Bagong Generasyon Party List Representative Bernadette Herrera D., minors shall be prohibited to roam around in all public places from 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. According to Herrera D., the bill aims not only to maintain public order and safety and prevent the further rise in criminality, but also to protect minors from potential threat, which may be harmful to their development. However, However, the bill allows several exemptions, such as minors accompanied by their parent or guardian, minors on their way to or from a party, graduation ceremony, or any school activities where their attendance are required, and those engaged in an employment activity duly authorized by the Department of Labor and Deployment. A minor is also exempted if he or she is in an emergency situation and if he or she is dismissed from classes in the evening, or if he or she is a working student. Parents shall face sanctions such as being required to participate in at least 48 hours of community service and or shall be penalized with at least a 2,000 peso fine for the first offense. On the second violation, both the parent and child must attend regular counseling sessions with the barangay. Those who shall violate curfew for the third time and for every subsequent offense shall be turned over to the Department of Social Welfare and Development for counseling and proper disposition on the matter, while the parents of third time or more violators shall be penalized with a fine of 5,000 pesos and or imprisonment of six months. Many parents are in favor of the said proposal to ensure the safety and security of their children. The DSWD, PNP, DOLE, National Youth Commission, and the Child Welfare Non-Governmental Organization shall work together to ensure the implementing rules and regulations of the Nationwide Curfew Act. Mark Fetalco for The Nation.